it's very clear you're like the next Elon Musk or at least like a version of that. Sure. Like I, I think that's like kind of what people think and especially like your investors and stuff. Do you, do you ever think about the idea that like Elon is like building humanity and trying to preserve humanity and you're doing the opposite and does that concern you? I don't think so because I, I just look at it fundamentally differently. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The way I see it is like, if we have World War III with China, then we're fucked. Like, and like, you're a hero. Like the, like the progress of humanity. Yeah. Like, have you, have you heard Elon say, there's this great line that he said many years ago uh, where he said, I, I believe that we're in a window, yeah. a narrow window, yeah. where it's possible for us to colonize other planets, yeah. right? Like, only in the last 10 or 20 years has it become possible for us to leave this planet, get to another one, colonize yeah. it, and make humanity a multiplanetary species. species. Elon even says, I think that window is limited yeah. and it will close. Yeah. And my goal is to make humanity a multiplanetary species before that window closes. The way that I look at it is building the tools that deter wars are what keeps that window open. Because if like, look, look at World War II. Could we have gone to another planet while fighting World War II? No. Could anybody have? No. And then post-Cold War, like remember what happened is like, Post-Cold War, everybody, including the U.S., we needed to take a peace dividend. We basically stopped investing in space exploration. That's why the space program died. Remember that we had, we went to the moon, and we basically- Do you just, believe that? Oh, it's a huge part of it. No, like we- Do you believe we went to the moon? I believe we went to the moon. You I do? Believe, I, I strongly believe we went I, to the moon. I, I could not disagree more. Oh, really? I couldn't disagree oh, more. Oh, no, you're killing me. I, I know, I'm one of those. Okay, look, look, have you heard about the reflectors? Do you know about the reflectors? Uh -huh. All right. So when the astronauts were there, they dropped a series of retroreflectors at different points on the moon. Yep. And retroreflectors are this type of reflector that basically takes light and it perfectly makes it go bounce, bounce, bounce at a perfect 180 degree angle. Okay. You can personally yourself, you can build a laser device. Maybe, okay, maybe not you. Maybe you. Who's that maybe, <laughs> maybe you. Maybe, look, I'll, I'll send, I'll not send, me, bro. Okay, I'll not send me. you the instructions. I'll send you the instructions. You can build a laser device that you can point at the moon with your own telescope, yeah. and you can point it at those points, and you can fire your laser, wait a few seconds for it to go, and you have a sensor, and it will read Are your, you serious? your laser coming Are back. Are you to, serious? I'm 100%. The, the astronauts left them there. Send me the pamphlet. All right, I'll send I'm you building the, these lasers. Because you, you, Jay Laser, Jay Laser, it, if you're watching this, Jay Laser, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for shitting on you back when, back when your products weren't that great. Because right now, Jay Laser, man, you made that spider suit, you made that other thing, and you've been crushing it, bro. And I, I shit on your dreams, and I'm sorry, Jay Laser. And and together, you and I, come come back, come back to me, Jay Laser, and we're gonna make a laser, Jay Laser. I'm a big fan of his stuff too. Actually. Oh, you do you know who Jay Laser? I, I, yeah, I, I, yes, of Let's course. Let's fucking go, bro. I, Oh, I'm, I'm dude, a, I'm, I used to build a lot of do-it-yourself laser stuff myself. I've actually got some damage in my left eye where I damaged no it with way. an IR laser that I was so building. So you know in. who he is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. I'm gonna, uh, this is going to be our collab. We're going to build a you, laser. You, we're going to shoot it at the moon. And, and it's you can prove. prove it. Yeah, now, people will say, that doesn't prove, Palmer, that the astronauts went there. We could have sent robots that put no, them there. No, it doesn't matter. But it doesn't the point matter. is, yeah, we made it to the I moon. I agree. That's, yeah. that's, that's my fundamental thing, just because, you know, Gus Grissom yeah. and but whatnot. Anyway, the, so, but getting back to that, it's like, you know, is, is he building humanity while I tear it? The way I look at it is, I'm keeping that window open. I'm keeping that window open where we're not fighting major wars. And that, like, that's like when I'm building new fighter jets, like we build this new jet called Fury, and it's supposed to be a jet, it's an autonomous fighter jet that flies with F-35s, and it can fly ahead of them and with them to carry way more weapons and push yeah. things out and do way more aggressive tactics because it's okay if they die. Yeah. And I think that that's the type of thing that has China quaking in their boots. They're like, no oh crap, America now has this weapon that is cheap, that is able to blow up my fighter jets, and if I try to take over this area, they're going to wipe out my military. Do you think so that, 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 a, that's how I look at it. Do you think there's a chance that China has a Palmer Lucky with a Metamon shirt, clogs on, and a mullet who has the same technology? I know for a fact they have people just like me. Fuck. They, no, like, they have, look, I, I used to spend time in China, right? Because Oculus, we made millions of headsets there. And I know how good they are. They are extremely good. And they, they like, our, our defense industry is so broken and archaic. busted and, and archaic. And so that part, but and I know China's isn't. China has a bunch of people like me, like Damn. really hardcore. Mullets? Maybe not mullets. They, 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 don't, they don't usually pull that off, but. Dude, I, that was a great answer to that, to that question. Good, I'm glad. Is that, was, that, was that okay to ask? Yeah, no, that's fine to ask. Could, could we put that in the show or do you want to keep it out? If you want to use it, that's totally fine. Really? The only thing I would add is, is the last bit is uh, at the end of the day, this is really about making sure that everyone doesn't use nukes.
Hey guys, if you like that clip, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more zany clips, click the video right here. <laughs>